Hey guys, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to my channel, normally I'm doing cooking videos, but right now I'm in the midst of a remodel. Ugh. But you don't want to leave because normally I'm doing cooking videos, so please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and share my videos, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Right now I've been uploading remodel um, updates. So that's what you're getting tonight is a remodel update. <laughs> Okay guys, so this video is going to go back a day or two, maybe just one day. Um, yesterday my granite was supposed to show up. It didn't show up. I was slightly disappointed, but it did show up today. So you're going to get both. I tried to cook in my new oven. Um, I, I'm just learning it. So I found out real quick that the oven cooks a little bit hotter than my former oven. So, and I didn't really cook. I just heated something up. So, you'll get to see that. And then you'll get to see my granite show up. So, let's get started. We're going to rewind today and go back to yesterday. Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastures Wife. I'm not sure what part of the video we're in at this point. But, welcome to my mess. It is dusty, dirty, but progress is happening. Today was kind of a disappointing day because um, the granite was supposed to show up. But there was a delay in the granite. It'll be here tomorrow, so all I'm having to wait is just a few hours and overnight till tomorrow. And I get my granite. But a lot did happen since the granite didn't come. Kevin and Bryant was able to plug, hook up my stove and my oven and my dishwasher, my refrigerator, Everything, um, it may not be completely, we don't have the switches in yet, but everything is fired up and ready to go. And yesterday, look what happened. All these beautiful recessed lightings. Forget the dust on my wooden box up there. They've done a lot of sanding sheet rock, so there is dust everywhere. But he's even tried out texturing the ceiling, and I think it looks wonderful. Come, you know, it matches what we had really well. He's done a great job. It's got to be painted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be. He was doing this. I'm like, what? We got to paint it. And he's got to do some more texturing down the, where the wall was that they took out. I'll show them that real quick. Yeah. Look see, how good that looks. See the, the open concept? You can just ignore everything else. The dust, the, the dirt. Dust. Okay. She's got to clean this afternoon, but. See where we patched to where the wall was, and now we'll texture it tomorrow morning. And several of you have asked, you know, why didn't you put plastic up? Well, every part of the house, with the exception of the bathroom and the bedrooms, is part of the remodel. So there was really no, you couldn't really cover anything up. So um, that's why. I am not going to cook on my stove tonight, uh, but I wanted you to see me light the burner. I'm going to light this one if I get the right one. Um, if I can remember how. There we go. Look at there. I at least know how to turn it on. I lit the back one. The other back one. And that one. Bryant's phone's ringing. There they are, all lit. Explain to them the different sizes. Turn it around and explain the difference. Well, this is my opinion. He's going to check his phone. Hold on. I think it is, I mean, I think it's definitely a medium and low situation, but I also think it's a pot size. You know, we see a little one here. I think a small pot because the heat's going to be right on the center. So my smaller pots, my medium, and then, of course, my larger ones will go on those two and this one. Um, so, uh, that, that's my synopsis. I'm not sure if I'm right. But anyway, it needs cleaning. Everything's covered in dust. Um, but I am going to use the oven tonight. 
and I'll try to film that, but it said I needed to turn it wide open um, for 30 minutes, I guess so it can cook off any of the new, you know, the new stuff and, and just cook that all off. So I've got the oven going um, wide open and we're going to leave it going for 30 minutes. Okay guys, so I bought these at Aldi. I'll show you the bag in just a little bit. I've put them on a cookie sheet and it's going in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. Then I'll flip it and do 20 more minutes and then I'll show you how we make those sandwiches. Okay guys, forgive the dust inside the cabinet that you see. <laughs> Every, there's dust everywhere. Ah, it's hilarious. Um, glad I can laugh. But this is the bag I got. It's Kirkwood breaded chicken breast fillets. And um, I did get that at Audi. So we'll put it back in the freezer because it's just me and Isaac. I mean, me and Bryant because Isaac is back on his diet. So just Bryant and I. I made three patties in case we want one and a half each. So if not, we'll have Bryant can have one for lunch tomorrow. Okay guys, I've got them out for their first flip, so I'm going to just take them and flip them. Oh, I should have sprayed my pan. <laughs> ah, and the bad thing is I have nowhere to um, wash that. Did they hook up the dishwasher today? I'm not sure. Okay. All right. It's going back in for another 20 minutes. And we'll be ready to eat. I'll fix you this sandwich. So good. Okay, guys, I just got the chicken out. Got a little dark, but I'm learning this stove, so give me a little grace. And what I'm gonna do is I've turned the um, stubborn, the stubborn, <laughs> the oven off. And so I'm just gonna place a piece of cheese on this chicken. This is Swiss cheese. And I'm just going to stick it back in the oven while I get everything else ready and just melt that cheese. So it's going back in just, just to melt the cheese. And we're going to come over here and we'll show you my little setup because I don't have a countertop anywhere. So you can go around that way and I'll meet you over here. Here's where I'm gonna make my sandwich at. It's in my pantry drawer. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is while the cheese is melting, I'm going, you have to have honey mustard. This is what makes the sandwich so good. A nice soft bun. Gotta have nice soft bun. Okay. And I didn't bring a knife or anything to, oh, I've got a little quirk hole, so that's worked good. And I put the honey mustard on top and bottom. And in case you don't have a good way of spreading it, just spread it yourself like that. All right, so each sandwich is gonna get a slice of ham. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the slice of ham now, I think Sagebrush used a, probably a, a deli slice type ham, but we're just using the, the cheap kind. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause for just a minute. I'm going to go get the chicken and make sure the cheese is melted, put, it, put the ham back in the refrigerator and not in the pantry, and um, we're just going to put that chicken on here, and we're going to have a delicious sandwich, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, there is that beautiful cheese. Look how easy and beautifully that melted over that chicken. And so I'm just going to put this on my plate here. And we'll leave that one there because that's the extra. Meet you back over here. And this is what Sagebrush, or close to what Sagebrush referred to as their Santa Fe chicken sandwich was kind of like a chicken cordon bleu sort of sandwich, but it was with honey mustard. Cheese is stringing. 
Okay, guys. There it is. I can't remember if they put lettuce or any condiments on there. But this is going to be our supper tonight, such as it is. I know that was not a home-cooked meal, but you know what? We're not eating out tonight. He's tired of eating out. I'm tired of eating out. And I wanted to use my stove. So, we got a good trial run on it. So, thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough or if the oven's hot enough, you can fry or bake anything. See y'all next time. Hey y'all, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today, I'm just sharing with you a little bit of a few days worth of remodel stuff. So, right now, I mean, I have no, these, these videos may not even be in order. These clips may not even be in order, but right now, we are headed back to Lowe's again. I've picked out, I, I need to match my wall paint. Um, and I went yesterday and got the color that I thought it was that I remembered the name being. I thought it was bungalow beige. Bryant thinks it's China doll. Well, we painted, so I went and got bungalow beige. We painted that on. It was a little light. Not much. It almost worked, but it was a little bit light. Um, I mean, it was so close, but you could see it because it was a, just a tad lighter. So I went back and I took a swatch from a piece of drywall that we had torn down and I took that to them and said, match this. <clears throat> so they matched it and when I brought it home, I painted, we painted that and it's just a tad dark. I mean, it's almost perfect, but it's just a tad dark. And yes, I've let them both dry. Um, so, which that one should have worked. If I took a piece of what was on my wall and had to match it and not say a name and have them match it, it should match, right? But it's just a tad bit darker. So, now... I'm going back to Lowe's and I'm going to get the one Bryant thinks it is. He thinks it was China Doll. And so that's what we're going to go get. I remember we used China Doll at the church that we were at in Tobaccoville. That's what's on their walls is China Doll. And um, so I don't know. We'll see. And China Doll is a Sherwin Williams paint so they're gonna have to figure out the you know the formula to make the Sherwin Williams China doll but make it at the Lowe's store so anyway I'm trying one more time I think he's totally wrong I don't think I went with China doll I think it was bungalow beige and you know who knows things have changed over the years oh I'm taking the wrong way that's okay I turned one road too early. I mean, I know where I'm at. And we go this way all the time to other stores. But if I... It, the other one takes brings me right out at Lowe's. So, y'all, I know where I'm at. <laughs> I haven't quite lost it bad this yet. So, <clears throat> today the granite comes. Yesterday it didn't come. It was supposed to come yesterday. It was a little disappointing. I did use my oven for the first time. And um, I think it cooks a little hotter than my other one. And um, and I'll sh and you'll see you've probably already seen that video of where I baked the chicken um, <clears throat> in there from Audi. Um, so I got it a little bit done. Um, so I need to calibrate it. I haven't calibrated it yet, so I need to do that. Um, and we tried, and I need to, I need to adjust my flames on my burners, but I really don't want to do all that until everything gets set and I'm ready to go. Uh, Bryant did try to boil some eggs this morning, and it took an extra long time, but I think that's because we haven't adjusted everything. And um, so, 
So it's going to be a learning process for me on this new stove. So anyway, all right, I'll see you guys at Lowe's. Okay, guys, so here's the one I think it is right here. But nothing's matching up exactly. So let's see if they can make me the one Bryant thinks it is. Okay, guys, see that dot? That's the one Bryant thinks it is. The one I think it is is almost identical to this card. I don't know. We'll see. All we can do is try. Okay, guys, the granite people are here, but Kevin is putting the texture on my ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking good, Kev. Looking great. I mean, the original ceiling was done in the 80s. So we're trying to match and that. And trying to match that's going to... Until this happened to Carol. There's Isaac, and he's laughing because he says we have progress because I have one little piece of granite in here. Um, over at project number two, which is Caroline's house, the brick mason has showed up. And he has a few blocks laid out. And so we'll go over there in a little bit. But right now, we're doing the ceiling. And... Waiting for the granite to come in. They're here. They're just out there. I guess doing whatever they do to granite before they bring it in. There comes my two pieces beside the refrigerator. Okay, here comes our second big piece. It's tight in there. They're... Aren't those cool little things? That's how they lift it and move it. Okay. And here's our supervisor. All right, guys. Everything's coming together. They're getting ready to set the sink. They've uh, put the second or third or fourth piece of granite down. Nothing is uh, glued down yet, and uh, everything is coming together. So that's the patron right there. He's the man in charge. So uh, I think he goes to the gym occasionally. What do you think? Uh, he's got grande muscles. I told him no. I said it's the granite. It's the granite. All right, guys. Hang tight. All right, guys. Here they're coming in with the island right now. You can see everything's kind of coming together. Looking good. So, uh, now they're getting ready to put the island up there. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, they're getting everything centered and adjusted. Kevin's over there getting ready to set the sink. So uh, you can see it's coming together here. So hang tight. We'll bring you back in a second. All right, guys, they've got every piece of granite in. They're getting ready to, uh, they're shimming everything, making it look good. 
squaring everything up and then they're going to take and put a small um, lip around the back of it so uh, everything is coming together so hang tight all right guys what's happening now is they're putting the uh the ledge on behind the oven it's not the actual backsplash but it, some people call it a backsplash then they're gonna put the breakfast bar on <coughs> you see the breakfast bar goes on behind that so uh, everything is coming together so it kind of gives you a general idea Still waiting on the floor to be delivered. It's supposed to be delivered one day next week. So, uh, so we'll see how that goes. So, hang tight, guys. We'll uh, bring you back shortly. All right, guys. You can probably hear this noise in the background. They're putting the bar on right now. He's, he's siliconing it from the bottom side. What they're doing over here is uh, where they put the uh, little backsplash behind the oven. Uh, it's in two pieces, so they had to epoxy those two pieces together. And so now they're sanding and grinding and uh, getting it all to come together. So uh, looking wonderful here. Uh, like I said, look at that. But, uh, that granite is gorgeous and, uh, in my opinion, one of the best looking pieces of the whole project. So we'll give you a once over. I hadn't cut the uh, they hadn't cut the hole for the uh, water spigot yet, but I'm not sure sure how stainless and copper go together. But anyway, it's happening. So anyway, coming together, guys. So hang tight. We'll show you the finished products in a little bit. I came in and had to determine if Kevin was trying to hide or if he was working on. Laying my down, sink. Laying, down on, laying down on the job. No. He's fixing my sink so I can use it. I'm so excited. Y'all, isn't that granite absolutely beautiful? I can't hardly stand it. I'm so excited. We've been working on the backsplash placement. I was going to place, you know, the bricks just like a brick wall, and I had an accent to go in it. But let me show you how we, I think we're going to do it. We've got it laid out on the counter. This is the pattern we've come up with that we all like the most. So let me turn it around and show you. Y'all forgive my hair. It's I've been like pulling my hair out during this process. <laughs> so hang on. Okay. So here is what we're thinking about laying it out as. Um, and of course that will be my backsplash under here. And you'll see these rows of accents about every 18 inches or so so um i mean this looks so good i mean i know it like up next to it you're like huh but oh, it's so beautiful i'm so excited with everything um y'all this granite is just absolutely gorgeous um everything's gorgeous 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 and I love the way this gray, it just looks like it's flowing over into the sink. <laughs> and I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything to be any more beautiful than this. So there you go. There's that. Okay. So that's today's update. I'm not sure what video will come next. I still have my try on haul to do and um, a few other things so um and a devotional so but they we're doing something new every day in the house that i have to video it so anyway <sighs> now if i can just get everything put back together the way i want it and get everything dust free <laughs> but um yeah so i'm super excited about the way everything is turning out and yeah there's light at the end of the tunnel y'all there's light at the end of the tunnel so thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife i will see you next time and remember if the grease is hot enough you can fry anything bye y'all